What do you expect to see from Trey Lance today, Coach? What do you expect to see? Um, well, depending on when he plays, um, I expect him to show improvement from his last game. His last game was a rough outing, if you just want to look at the net-net um, of, of the performance. Uh, let's talk about it. We want to be able to see Trey Lance take advantage of what he sees throughout progressions. We want to see Trey Lance take care of the ball. We like to see Trey Lance drive the ball downfield when he sees receivers open in areas before defenders get there. Um, we want to see Trey Lance look calm and confident. We want to see Trey Lance look natural moving throughout the offense. Uh, also, we want to see no, we want to see the good carryover too. So just because he did it once, I'm still going to be looking to see if those mechanics get sloppy along the game, if he gets under pressure. I'm still going to be seeing what his athleticism, athleticism looks at, looks like if he's not paying attention down the field and paying attention to pressure inside of the pocket or in, taking on sacks. That's something that he did well with. We can't see that this game. So really, Trey Lance's development should take an uptick in this week if he does the things that I talked about. But, you know, that's what I expect to see. What I want to see is I want to see him dial up the speed of everything that he does a little bit and and play with a little bit better internal clock, a little quicker, a little a, you know, I want him I you know, as Kyle, the Kyle the the phrase that Kyle likes to throw out is let it rip. I'd like to see him let it rip a little bit. Now, um I charted his last game all 27 plays. And I you know, when I say it charted, I went through and looked at all 27 plays. And what I found, coach, was it was 20 passes, 7 runs, which already is a is a heavy pass load but i'm not blaming anybody that just is what it is um of those so i took the seven runs out so basically you're looking at 20 plays and what i found was it was tw it was 10 good plays eight poor plays and two plays that were so poorly broke blocked in front of him by the o-line that they just had to be like you can't, can't even get a look yeah, and you can't put that in on anybody. It's not on. It's not on Trey. It's not on I mean, Shanahan. Yeah, saying. it's on the O line. So I said two on the O line, eight poor plays, ten good plays, seven runs in twenty seven plays. So when I so I've got more good plays than bad plays, but still, obviously, eight bad plays is not great. But um, I thought the overwhelming reaction to his play was once again an overreaction. Um, you got to ask yourself, what are we looking at, right? And you and I, you know, we know ball, so we know that you got to have perspective on this thing. 318 pass attempts is what Trey Lance had in college. He's made eight, played eight games in the NFL. He's had four starts. He's 56 for 102 with five touchdowns and three picks. Last year, he fractured the ankle in week two uh, and was done for the year. So he had not played since week two of last year and the first three drives didn't look good the Niners got one combined yard they went three and out on all three drives but if you that was the first nine plays but if you looked at play 10 through 27 I thought he settled in did some good things and looked comfortable and to me I think we're going to see more of play 10 to 27 Trey today or against Denver or tonight um, than we saw in, in week one. I just, to me, I'm not excusing it, but to me, what I saw was a combination of rust and extreme nerves from a guy who knows that it all means so much and that is trying to do it all instantly. And I think Steve Young said it best this week when he came out and he said, every throw for Trey at this point it's like you can see that he knows that it's a referendum on the entire selection. And he's just he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. And if he just settles in, relaxes, plays the position, and lets it rip, I think we're going to be like the results. That, that's I, I'm, I'm eager to see what he looks like tonight, and I'm not at all really discouraged like so many were um, after preseason game number one. Um, well, I, I think there's a difference between um, giving, uh, you know, concise um, critique and 
saying being reactionary, right? And right. I feel like there's an angst behind the evaluation of Trey Lance. Um, even if he's bad, you know, you don't find a lot of people simply saying he looked bad today, you know, didn't look good. Um, there seems to be like this heavy handed over leveraging of how Trey Lance has talked about specifically when he plays, um, which hasn't been a lot. Uh, um, I don't want to get into psychoanalyzing Trey because I don't think we necessarily understand just how small of a sample size we've seen from him. He has not played a lot at all. And to, um, I feel like, uh, to go through all of his reps, um, and look at, um, a carbon copy game. I don't even, in my opinion, um, I didn't even think trade played a regular traditional game, even with Las Vegas, right? That wasn't an offense that was being ran. That looked like an offense that was evaluating a quarterback. Um, that's how I interpreted what we did against Las Vegas. I didn't see that offense and say, oh, we're trying to score. We're starting the ball with the run. We're trying to get him settled in. We're going to start throwing him some things that he likes, get him ingratiated into the game, warm him up, get the offensive line together, get them ready with the uh, – get them – comfortable with the line of scrimmage and the tempo and the physicality of the game, let the offensive lineman feel them so we can understand what we're dealing with. Nah, I feel like we just went straight into evaluating the quarterback, right? So even when I watch Trey play, I'm not, you know, fooled into thinking that he's playing like a real traditional game where he's getting a 10 play script slotted out for him to score. I think that Trey is getting the same thing that, Sam is getting the same thing that Brandon is getting where they're being evaluated. Um, and I feel as though with Trey, I don't know about Sam or uh, Brandon, but if I'm being fair to Kyle, what you could say is, oh, well, which Kyle's trying to highlight all of the things that Trey struggles with. And he wants to see it against, he wants good film on things that Trey struggles with. That's the, that's the best you could say if you're being fair to Kyle. Um, but as far as him wanting to be perfect on every throw, um, him being scrutinized on every throw, that's narrative. Um, I don't necessarily think that that's something that um, Trey has shown us. I want to be able to see him play long enough so he can start giving us real characteristics that we see on the field. Brock played seven games. And what are the things that we that we noticed about Brock? All types of things. He reverses out of the back. He reverses out of the pocket when he gets pressure. He always goes to his. He always goes to his left instead of his right. You know, like Trey hasn't even played in a consistent base and a consistent period of time for people to even know what his tendencies are. So really, when you see him, it's a pass fail algorithm already. It's either he's good or he's not. There's nothing tied together to actually see a full menu or a full maturation or a full uh, trajectory, if you will, of what Trey is going to do. Everything with Trey is a one-off, right? So it's hard for me to connect the dots when he played this game, then he played in the first half. He's going to play the next game. He's going to play with 10 reps. So I think that if we're being honest – with where we are right now in August with less than what we we're less than three weeks out. Right. Larry. Yeah. Um, you got this week, next week, and then a week off and then week one. Yeah. If we're being honest um, right now, we're just keeping trade because we can't afford to lose any type of viable quarterback who knows our system. So does that mean that Trey is going to be three? Who knows? Does that mean he's going to be two? Who knows? But, what I'm watching in these games, um, I'm done looking at these games as if this means anything to Trey Lance's real development because he's not going to be a starting quarterback here unless somebody gets hurt. So um, it's not as if Kyle is giving us the best of what Trey does, setting Trey up for success where he can find passes and find um, and, and find concepts that are most advantageous to his skill set. No, Trey is a – a cog. He's a piece to the puzzle. And his piece right now is trying to figure out whether he's going to be three or whether he's going to be two. Because we've already made our mind up at one, right? So 
Um, I'm not looking at I'm not looking at Trey as if he's being dealt with with an honest broker. Kyle's not trying to push him to be one. Kyle's not Kyle's not been the offense to what Trey does best, you know. So I'm just gonna look at the offense that Trey runs and look at the look at the skill set and the upside that I see. That quite frankly, a lot of people outside the league can see as well. And you know the things that he struggles with, he's gonna get better because that's the one thing about Trey. We've said this before, Larry. If the I'm sold on the human being. I don't know enough about him as a football player. 